The next one we're going to work on is called the mirror drill. And again, with the mirror drill, when we teach press here, we want to make sure that we want to try to keep his frontal position as long as we can. The first drill we worked on was just identifying the route in the start if he gives you a shake. Now we're going to work on the mirror drill. And the mirror drill allows them to be able to try to keep a frontal position and mirror the release of the receiver. And this drill, and I equate a lot of it to basketball. And again, when you play basketball, you want to try to keep a frontal position as long as you can. And when we press here at NC State, we like to try to keep that frontal position as long as we can. And now, we'll, again, we'll get the proper stance. We get the proper eye, a proper key. And now all Jack is going to do is try to stay right there, right in a frontal position on the wide out as he goes side to side. And we'll do this one actually with no hands, uh, with hands behind the back. And the reason we do that is because in press, a lot of people like to press and all they talk with, all they think they're doing is using their hands. But we like to concentrate on using the feet, let your feet do the work, get your feet in position, and your feet will get, keep you even with that wide out as you try to mirror. Here we go. Set, hit, boom. And again, as you mirror the route, you're trying to stay with them. Quick feet, good. And now you try to keep those quick feet. And again, as Jack is moving side to side, again, there's no hopping. It's quick feet, keeping his feet on the ground, ready for that wide out to get into a release. 